Why, well, hello everyone. Welcome to the final episode of our Keijo set. I don't know, man. I could, I could happily just keep saying, oh my god, I love this for, for a long time. So I guess, as has become tradition for this open, for this Oh, we boss, need to do recommendations. Yeah. Okay, so, I would like to start as our resident sports head, right? And I would like to say that in the spirit of this show, I feel like there are quite a few good sports animes you could jump off here into. I think you could go watch Haikyuu if you're looking for a good sports anime. I think you should go watch Prince of Tennis for a sports anime that I love, but maybe isn't good. But my true recommendation is Magical Girl Ore and Ishizoku Reviewers, which I feel both share the spirit of this show in their utter absurdity. Thank you for taking the obvious recommendations. You're welcome. All right, I guess I'll go next. My recommendation... Oh, free. And Yuri on Ice. Okay, stop yes. it. <laughs> My recommendation, beyond the collective list of every sports anime Seki has ever seen... Because I keep adding? Yes. I'm going to go out and say My Hero Academia. Yeah, no, that, that feels right. Weird specialized schools and competitions here and there. A lot of training arcs. Ass class. I haven't seen Ass class. I don't know how well that translates. Uh, ass. Cl I read a little bit of the manga when it was coming out originally. Ass class is a little uh, different structurally. It's very differently. Structurally. I will say yeah. that the caveat that you're playing this story a lot more straight with My Hero Academia. Yeah. Yeah. What about you two? Um. So my recommendation is actually going to be an interesting one, and that's mainly just because I watched a lot of this when I was. Um, uh, still in my uh, free anime days, as far and what I mean by free anime is I, I was stuck to free watching free anime on free anime sites. This sounds like a lot of setup. Uh, it's actually really and a lot of excuse. It's uh, it's really anticlimactic, but uh, it's just uh, Hikaru no Go. Oh hell yeah. yeah! Yeah, that's a that's another sports anime I would have put up on screen. It's okay. not it's not sports. It, it's it's a chess game, but it's, I mean, it, it's sports. It yeah, doesn't it yeah. doesn't matter if it's an athletic sport or one of those sports. Okay. Hikaru no Go is a sports Look, game. if League of Legends yeah. is a sport, chess is a sport. Yeah. Fair, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So so there's so Hikaru no Go, um it it Hikaru no Go, I in fairness, is the one of the few sports animes that I did actually enjoy enough to continue watching. Um I just never got to finish it because uh I, I it was freemium for free free sites. Th those sites. Porn. Any uh, any shows you would recommend out of this? If you're going to watch porn, go watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> sports recommendations to just go watch porn, you horny I'm, asshole. I'm not putting that on screen, <laughs> but y'all should take it under... Uh, I think that everyone watching this video should take that under advice if this show made them feel a kind of way that couldn't be felt in public. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say a blanket recommendation. If this show made you feel a way, maybe you need to go check the uh, categories on your favorite XXX site. Yeah. Just go watch an actual hentai, yo, wanker. Yeah. <laughs> you freaking coomer. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All right. So... So recommendations out of the way. Um, this this is so this is our third truly uwu series to start a season with. And we are starting a new season of anime, of course. Yeah. Um, and and I just want to say that I think we've done wonderfully well in picking three series that had equaling levels of uwu across them. Yeah. Uh, because they really did. Yeah. Honestly. Like Ishizoku and and Magical Girl Ori have the exact same level of uwu. Oh yeah. In my opinion. Uh, however, the one caveat I will make is that um, they both had better music mm. than Keijo. Although I think Keijo has better animation than Magical Girl Ore. Oh, yes. I do actually have a caveat with this. Do not watch this if you live in the same house with somebody else. Or live right next to a person and have very thin walls. Put, put your headphones in if you live with other people. Or in an apartment building. And don't, don't watch. Okay, so like, I'm in college, right? And I have had professors caution me about watching things on a computer that I bring in, you know, with other kids sitting behind me, right? Well, I don't care if you want to play Minecraft when you're sitting in lecture. Don't 
be watching Keijo in a college lecture or in a public place. Of course, if Realm watched it on the same TV I did, I watched at least half the series like that. And Realm probably watched the full series like that with the windows wide open. <laughs> Your Actually, complex no. has a lot of children. Because we closed all the windows for uh, the heat wave. Fam, your complex has a lot of children. Like, I, you I, live I, below a family. I, I, I'm not about to be the reason that someone's kid, a kid, asks them, like, Mommy, why are those girls over there smashing their butts and breasts together? <laughs> Look, there were no kids at the park outside. Mommy, yeah. mommy, why is that one girl aggressively rubbing her <laughs> against the other girls <laughs> <laughs> until they start screaming? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not about to be the person. That, I don't, don't want to be that person. Yeah, exactly. That, 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 that's not it. This this ain't it, fam. This ain't it, chief. <laughs> this ain't it. I I think, you know what? Watch what you love, but but maybe be mindful of uh, public consent laws when watching this show. <laughs> yeah. Like like think of it this way, right? This this is this is kind of like exhibitionism. Yeah. The other people need to consent too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is yeah. This is kind of one of those shows that honestly, like even after the first episodes I did watch, I, I just kind of stuck to watching it on my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is that kind of show. It's a great show, but it's certainly not not something you should watch the windows open like that. Oh, yeah, don't God, don't man. don't whip this out at a party if you want to be cool. Actually, depending on the party, that could be fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. If you go to the kind of party where you can whip this out to be cool at, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Honestly, I think a party, a lot of alcohol, a bunch of people watching this at once would be actually probably really fun. If you and your friends consume enough alcohol to think that this show, that pulling this show out and watching it together would be fun, stop. You've had too much. No. Sober up. Drink no. some water. Eat some bread. <laughs> no, I think we need more shots. <laughs> yeah, no, I honestly think the show would be vastly improved with a lot of alcohol. Yeah. Take, take a shot every single time one of the girls does something that definitely belongs on an XXX site. You will die. Finish your drink yes. every time there's a reference to another anime. Gulp. You will die. All right, guess I'm drinking the whole bottle tonight. <laughs> no, the keg. Yes, exactly. So, so, do we have anything else to say about this show? I don't, I don't think so, honestly. I think I've said my part. Just wondering, if you guys ended up in this world, would you run for the hills like me? Or would you actually try to at least fit I don't know, this somewhat. seems like one of the most pleasant anime worlds to live in, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, girls are too scary for me. I, I would You run. don't have to go into the academy. You can watch from the stands. Fuck no, I'm not. I'm running. I mean, I, I might, I might if, this, if this sport could be practically done, I might observe it as an onlooker. I don't think I'd be, like, into this, it as, yeah, an, okay. as an actual sport, though. Okay, Vor Vorn will understand the reference I'm making here, right? But, in all of those... <laughs> but. In, in, you, so you and I read a lot of manhwa, yeah. right? And webtoons, and that sort of thing, right? And and in show in, in webtoons, like, Accomplishments of a Duke's Daughter, right? Yep. Sometimes there's that plot device where, like, the male lead is, like, busting a slavery ring, and he puts on a mask to go in and sit there until he has proof that the nobles are doing this, and he whips off his mask and arrests them. Yeah. This is the sort of sport that I would wear a mask to go watch. Nah, I still run in from the hill. <laughs> like, I would not want to be caught watching this. Look, I gotta say, this is a surprise this seems like a surprisingly sexually open society. You know, that's fair. Like no that that's absolutely like most of fair. these ridiculous like sexual situations, no one really bats an eye at the sexual aspect of it. Okay, okay. And also, I would like to make the comment that this is not any worse than Dick Fight Island. No. Yeah. Which is one of the most popular US uh, manga in the US right now. Dick Fight Island. This is not any worse than Dick Fight Island. In fact, this is better because it's a codified official sport with rules and not a bunch of men wearing... Yeah. I'm not even gonna... I, I can't... Wearing even... basically G-string. No, no, there um, is no real way for me to appropriately describe Dick Fight Island. Now, I'm still trying to the hills from that problem. Still. All right, you know all right. what? We're going to do it on an off-the-shelf. <laughs> yes, here, here. Do it off the shelf with me. Dick Fight Island, you and me, second. Okay. Dick Fight Island. Dick. 
<laughs> that is most oh. definitely going to get age restricted so hard. This is good. <laughs> also, okay, Joe. Sorry, children, exactly. if you're watching, and sorry, parents sorry, of children, children, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The diary of a wimpy kid. I am sorry, woman. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was thinking. Of. I was thinking of uh, whenever Uncle Roger makes a makes a sex joke, and he's like, "Sorry, children." <laughs> yeah. So, so what? What? What an auspicious way to start the season. Our first ever tap out. Yeah. Yes. And on an uwu show, no less. Yeah. I Honestly, that's one of the better places for it to end. That's up. That's true. That's true. Um, so. As we said in our tier list video, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of randos this year. And so our first choice of the year is from Rando. Yeah. Now, if I could get a drum roll to draw our first official item. And... What is it? Uh, Nurarihyon no Mago. Ooh, Ooh nice. You've seen it. I have Nura, seen it. Nura, Rise of the Yokai oh. Clan. Oh. So, so everyone, this is mine. I know for a fact that Nick that Nick Knack has seen this entire submission because I, we sat and watched it. Yeah, together. I have also seen this entire Realm submission. Rome has seen this. Boy. I was. I need to freaking look at a picture. Here. Are we going into this knowing it's an A tier? Yes. Okay, so Vorn's seen this, so we all we all know this. I Does actually, everyone like this? I like it. I love this. I'll I'll like just have this. To see. I like what I watch. Oh I'll, just, I'll just have to see if the if the nostalgia holds it up for me. At so this point. Uh, what I'm having us do is we're gonna watch episodes one through twelve, and then thirteen is going to be optional because thirteen is a recap of the first twelve. So episodes. I'm skipping it. Yeah. So if you feel like you need a recap when you get to the end, watch it. But if not, don't bother. Honestly, it might be better to say thirteen. It, it, that if you would do probably another submission be seen. this. Yeah, that would probably. Be oh yeah, you know optional. what? You're right. One through twelve. One through twelve. So we're going to watch 1 through 12 of the first season of Nurarihyon no Mago, Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan. And let's be honest here, this is going, this might be an immediate A tier, just from the sounds of it. Hey, hey, we'll, 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 we'll talk to you in a but couple maybe, of weeks. Maybe Realm's nostalgia doesn't hold up, maybe Vorn thinks the manga was better, maybe I realize I need a, a little bit more alcohol than I have. <laughs> but you know what, I'm feeling pretty confident with this one. Aight! So we'll see you back here in a couple weeks. For Nuradijon no Mago. Try harder, everyone. <laughs>